Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number two of the Minor Pokemon League and this is going to be a really interesting match. So we're both 0-1, we both took losses in week one and uh, whoever wins this one is going to be in a decent position. Whoever loses is obviously going to be 0-2, it's going to be rough. And uh, look, I gotta be honest, this has been one of the most difficult uh, experiences I've had team building in a very long time. Okay. But here we see the team. I'm gonna take the screenshot now, so I do not forget later. So let's see, we see Charizard, Executor, Honchkrow, Flygon, Lycanroc, and Slowbro. So no Exploud. No Exploud is so, so huge. No Galvantula, which is also incredible. What else, what else? Um, no Tangela, which is also pretty big. And no Matang. No Matang is really, really huge, I think. So this is going to be a lot more straightforward of a match than I would have expected. A lot more straightforward. My Zygarde is banded, and I think that that's going to be pretty much my main win con. Um, my plan was to leech in Chino, but that was mainly for Matang and, and a couple other things that he would have expected. I might... Does he even have a rock set? No, I don't think he can set rocks, except like in Rock Dusk, maybe. I kind of want to lead off with Chinchino either way. Maybe I can lead off with Pidgeot. Does Pidgeot make sense? Pidgeot makes sense. I I'm going to lead Pidgeot. I can you turn out on whatever comes out here. I am still decently concerned about the Flygon. If Flygon has Sub and Dragon Dance, then it could be a complete repeat of Week 1, but I don't think that'll be the case uh it's just something that i gotta watch out for if anything i feel like scarf flygon makes the most sense scarf flygon gives me a whole lot of problems um i might reasonably be able to deal with scarf flygon oh just leads off with the charizard so now here's the thing this is interesting i'm, I'm gonna take a flamethrower to the face right now potentially but what would I do if he does that? I don't have anything. I, I, I really just have to go for Hurricane and take all the damage that I can right now. I could be giving up my Pidgeot now, but getting rid of this Charizard would be would be uh, huge for the longer run. I think, let me think this through. I still have answers for pretty much everything on his team. He's not gonna be able to, to set up the sun again for the Executor. This Pidgeot doesn't really have the biggest rule. I guess it deals with the Flygon a little bit. Yeah, Pidgeot doesn't have the best matchup. Okay, so this team, my team right now, has gone through so many different changes. I had I had almost every one of my Pokemon, except for Nidoking, because um, Nidoking never had a good matchup. I pr had pretty much every one of my Pokemon on this team at some point, just to kind of like test out different sets, test out different matchups. And uh, this is the final team, but like I said, I've not had this much trouble team building in a very, very long time. I went through so many different iterations. This was actually very difficult for me to bring, to, for me to decide on what to do. If this Charizard right now Dragon Dances, then I would be in quite a bit of trouble. Well, realistically, if that happens, I do have extreme speed with my Zygarde, and it's gonna be taking a Hurricane no matter what. Wait, did I do something wrong? Why did it make you fall first? Um, maybe it goes by speed before the... Yeah, okay, good. Good, so we will get the Hurricane off. And this is a bulky Charizard. Goes for the Fire Blast. I'm pretty positive this is a bulky Charizard, unless I mess something up. Charizard... So, first of all, okay, this is pretty much what I expected to happen. Um, oh, no, that's that's what about Hurricane should have done. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. As far as turns one, turns one go, that's totally, totally fine. Because now, now, I can go into Chinchino. Right? Chinchino has to be the play. Because no matter what he goes into, I can U-turn out on it. Except, unless it's Executor. But I think that should be fine. 
Um, I could go into my Rabombi as well. That might bait in the that might bait in the Lycanroc. Well, no, Rabombi is never the play. Oh uh, yeah, I just clicked Conchino. I click Rock Blast. It might invite in the Lycanroc, in which case I can Bullet Seed. I get I get I take the Excel Rock. I Bullet Seed then. Um. Yeah, I just click Rock Blast, and hopefully I hit the Rock Blast. Hopefully I hit this Rock Blast. So, okay. Seeing his team makes me feel quite a bit more confident. I probably should have let off Chinchino no matter what. There was no real reason to give up my Pidgeot this early. If I let off Chinchino, yeah. So yeah, either way. My Rock Blast is going to invite in... It possibly invites in Flygon. Possibly invites in Flygon. Um, it might be too early for Fly... It's almost definitely too early for Flygon. I feel like Executor would be the most likely to come in here. I feel like Executor would be the most likely to come in here. If I were to miss Rock Blast, that would be pretty awful. Executor... Let's see, let's see. Withdraws. Do we see the Executor? We see the Flygon. That's interesting. We do miss, but it's not as bad. Do you just go for the Dragon Dance now? Do you just go for the Dragon Dance now? I feel like no matter what, I click U-Turn. U-Turn would allow me to know whether or not this thing is Scarfed. But it would also potentially cause me to give up my Chinchino. I could just hard swap into Volibee. Yeah, no, i definitely hard swap into Volibee. Do I, though? No, I hard swap into my Rabombi. Definitely, definitely the, the Rabombi here. Just goes for the U-turn. That's interesting. I feel like we see the Lycanroc come out. But, yeah, the fact that he did that... I don't know. He could just be confident that he was going to take a hit, but it could also mean that he's Scarfed. If he's Scarfed, I guess Scarfed is a lot less threatening than... Than, um... I guess Scarfed is a lot less threatening than Dragon Dance might be. But yeah, Lycanroc is really his only option right now, I think. We do have the Charty Berry to eat the Excel Rock and deal a lot of damage with a Moonblast. Executor comes in. Are you trying to Hidden Power Fire me? Is that the play? Rabombi against Executor. Hidden Power Fire almost definitely takes me out. So yeah, as much as I I can't I can't risk it. I honestly can't risk it. I think I go into... I think I go into Chinchino here. Maybe the Zygarde. Maybe the Zygarde? Actually, let me see something. If I go into Zygarde... Okay. Also, how many turns of rain... Or sun, sorry. 
Um, yeah, I think I have to go into my Chinchino here. Goes for the Psy Shock. That's interesting. That's really interesting. But now I have to go into Volibee. Is it going to be the last turn of Sun? I take whatever he wants to go for with with um, with Volibee, and then I U-turn out. And then that's going to give me the momentum that I really need right now. Let me see. Even Thousand Arrows. Huh. Interesting, interesting. I think now he has to kind of wonder whether or not I'm Scarfed. Because Scarfed U-turn here might be a thing. I do just pull the double here. Solar beam. Okay. That's interesting. But yeah, this is a very easy U-turn now. I shouldn't be letting Volibee get low, like, at all, but I don't know. No matter what, I'm not being put in a very good position with this Executor. This Executor might be bad. Let me see. So, Executor, the best move that Executor has to hit my Rabombi is Psy Shock. Oh man, Psy Shock does so much damage. Does withdraw. Goes into Charizard. I can just U turn out here. And I can go into. I'd probably go back in a, into Rabombi here. Let me see something here. Chinchino against... Charizard. Yeah, we have to go out into Rabombi here. We just click in Power Rock. If he makes a really aggressive switch, then that would be pretty bad. But I don't quite know what else to do right now. Honestly, uh, if I could find some opportunity where he gives me a free turn, say with like a Psy Shock that I could switch in Volibee, then I really need to, uh, then I really need to roost up on that. But I really need to get rid of this charge. I need to get rid of this sun and neutralize the executor. Once the executor is down, Things look really good, I think. So things start to look really good. But until the Executor goes down, and I don't really know how to take down the Executor right now. I do get the Hidden Power off. Which is going to be fine, but it's going to just invite back in the Executor.
if he does decide to say bring in the um, the lichen rock, then that would be really interesting. Does bring in the executor. I mean, I feel like I only have one play. It's to go into the Volibi and see if I can attempt a roost up on this thing. It doesn't look like he has too too much to hit this Volibi. Does go for the Solar Beam. So I think, an, an, man, another Solar Beam takes me out, right? It's a roll, but it's a roll that's super in my favor. I have to click Roost. If he has another move to hit me, I, I don't think he has Hidden Power Rock, he, or else he would have gone for it against um, the Rabombi. Let's go for the Solar Beam. We should take this. By all indications from the last few bits of damage, we should take this. We do. Okay, okay. I was pretty darn worried about that, but no. Okay, so this is really good because we're going to be able to stall out this sun and um, we're going to be able to stall out the sun and it's going to neutralize this executor for the rest of the game. So, goes for the sleep powder. I do have the overcoat. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I fun fact, I almost brought big, pe big pecs on this thing, but I brought the overcoat specifically for the situation. So now I'm not sure if he has anything to hit me with. And the sun's gone. I could U-turn, but I don't want to get sleep powdered on, is the thing. I, and I also don't want to... I can't aggressively foul play here, but... We've already seen three of its moves. I wonder what its fourth move is. Um... I wonder what his fourth move would be. Let's see what Showdown says. <laughs> what the standard set is. Executor. The Chlorophyll set. Nope. Executor. The Chlorophyll set has Psy Shock, Solar Beam, HP Fire, and uh, Sleep Powder. I feel like I click U turn. I'm going to click U turn. Does withdraw. Okay, okay, good, good. That, that, was, that, was, that was a definite 50-50, because if he aggressively attacked me, then I would have been in a bit of trouble. But this U-turn allows me to go into my Zygarde, and Zygarde gets a very free thousand arrows off. And Slowbro would definitely be his best switch in, but uh, it's going to give me a, a whole bunch of information about the Slowbro. And... Uh, I can, I can move around it. I can figure it out. I can figure it out. The point is now, uh, I'm not constantly on, on the back foot because of this thing, Executor. Now I have a little bit of momentum going. It does go for the withdrawal. It does go into the slow, bro. Oh, I should also switch over here. That's, Okay. Uh, where is my Zygarde? And... Slowbro. Assuming max defense, um... Thousand Arrows does around max of like 40-ish percent, 33 to 40 percent. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so we could probably assume that this is max defense. So what does that allow me? What does that allow for me to do right now? Uh, the Ice Beam would be pretty obvious here. Ice Beam would be pretty obvious here. Let me think here. Um, um, what can I do right now? I feel like I have to go into Rabombi here. I 
I have to go into Rabombi here. I'm really curious to see if he does have the Ice Beam or if he just goes for a Scald, maybe? I don't know. Toxic. Interesting. So now, I feel like I have to Moonblast into this thing because he has to know, unless he goes, unless he has a Tanga Berry. Tanga Berry is super possible right now. Rabombi. Maybe Wakan for my Zip Strika? I feel like I have to Moonblast into this thing expecting Lycanroc. I feel like I have to Moonblast into this thing expecting the Lycanroc. Oh wait, Bug Buzz is still a 2 kill on the Lycanroc. Yeah, okay. Bug Buzz is going to be the play. I'm going to click Bug Buzz. Does let me get the Bug Buzz off. No Tango Berry. Does this take out the Slowbro? It does take out the Slowbro. Interesting. Now, this does invite in the Lycanroc, potentially. But at that point, I think... I think I just have to let... My... Rabombi go down. I do have the Charty Bear. He has to click Excel Rock. 100% has to click Excel Rock. And that's going to give me a free opportunity to Moonblast. And, uh... It's going to be big damage onto this Lycanroc. And now that makes Thousand Arrows for my Zygarde a little bit more free. Just ever so slightly more free. That Executor still has to be dealt with, but we're getting there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Zygarde against Lycanroc. Um, I, I I only just want to look. Go, does go for the Excel Rock. We do pop the Charty Berry. And, oh, we still don't take it. This is that a crit. That was a crit. Ugh. Okay, that's rough. That is pretty rough. That's pretty brutal. Because I know I should have taken that. I know I should have taken that. Okay. That's fine, I guess. But you know what? Zygarde can come in here, click Thousand Arrows. Um, his only real switch in left would be the Executor. And the Executor can't switch in on many. I have to just click Thousand Arrows. Let's see. Okay. Solid 3 hit KO. Um... I mean, I, it has to be Volibee. It has to be Volibee. I feel like this is a really obvious switch that he can definitely take advantage of, but I don't know what, what else to do but go into Volibee. Does he still go back into Lycanroc? He does. He does go back into Lycanroc. So, this is a max... This is a max... Uh... Defensive Volibee. But does that let me take a hit? I don't even know. Um. It should. Oh, and it's Life Orb. I, I need to give this thing a Life Orb. Life Orb barely lets me take Stone Edge. Um. Regardless, I think it's fine, because if I take this thing out, then my Steelix can be my dedicated answer for the for the Flygon. Yeah. I just click Foul Play. I don't think you can do anything that would take me out. Yeah. Stone Edge. 
We take it okay. There's the life orb, and foul play should do it. Beautiful, beautiful. That's another huge, huge threat out of the way. And now, actually... Huh. Now Zygarde's free to click... Now Zygarde's free to click Outrage. Honchkrow comes out. I don't want to give this thing... Moxie. But no, he can't sucker punch me. Because I can roost. I have no idea. Haunch Crow. Are you just gonna click Bray Bird? Admittedly, Bray Bird does a whole lot to me. Braper does a whole, whole lot. But... You have to have Heat Wave. Actually, Honchkrow can still definitely beat me on its own. Huh. Yeah, I might just have to let this Volby go down. If you click Sucker Punch, then I can Roost. Superpower. Okay. Okay. Actually, with this, with the stage of drop defense, Zygarde. The Zygarde extreme speed might be interesting. Uh, minus defense. Zygarde extreme speed almost threatens a KO. And he can't sucker punch me, which would force him... Actually, okay. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he clicks sucker punch. Uh, forgetting about extreme speed, but... Regardless, I think this is a play that we would have to make. No, I should have just clicked Thousand Arrows. I should have just clicked Thousand Arrows. We should take a Sucker Punch every dang time. I really should have just clicked Sucker Punch. Or, sorry, I should have just clicked Thousand Arrows. This is very, very likely a mistake. So, okay, let me think this through. Yeah, I know I take a sucker punch, man. We miss out on taking it out, but he does, in fact, misremember this, uh, the, uh, the sucker punch mechanics. So, I don't see a way that he would win at this point. Does withdraw. Goes into the executor. This should be a two KO. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. Wait, it might be actually. It is okay. So I can very freely just continue to click extreme speed. And now that would Im that might invite in the. Flygon, it does, okay. Flygon, I might... Okay, so here's the thing, right? I'm pretty sure this thing is scarfed. I'm pretty positive. Reasonably sure. 
So what I really want to do is go into go into Chinchino, sack it off, bring in the Steelix to counter that. And win. But if he takes his chance to Dragon Dance, well, no, if he takes his chance to Dragon Dance, then I guess it doesn't really make a difference, yeah. Yeah, that has to be the play. That has to, has to, has to be the play. I just go into the Chinchino. Just go for the EQ. I'm pretty positive this thing is Scarfed. And if it is, then... If it is, then... Uh, my Steelix could just win the game here. Let's just make sure. Flygon, some sort of scarf set. Yeah. Earthquake is not a 2 KO. And I really hope that I don't miss Ice Fang. I very sincerely hope that I don't miss Ice Fang. But I guess even if I did miss Ice Fang, I do have one more chance. Actually, if I did miss Ice Fang, then he could switch in a Haunch Crow. No, he couldn't. There's the Ice Fang. He's not weakness policy. <laughs> so that's so that's a win in itself. But we have to land another Ice Fang. Let me just check what the accuracy is. 95% accuracy. We've already missed a Rock Blast. We've already missed a Rock Blast. Okay, thank god. Okay, okay. That was, that was kind of stressful. That was kind of stressful. But now it's down to Steelix v. Honchkrow. And, uh... I don't even think I have a 100% accurate move. I just have, uh... Earthquake, Ice Fang, Stealth Rock, and Rock Slide. So, Ice Fang... Yeah, Ice Fang is actually more accurate, so... I hope we land this. Uh, his best play would be to just superpower me for the Moxie boost, but... Regardless, Extreme Speed should pick up this KO. We take it, so... Oh, nobody's gonna get the KO on that one, I don't think. It just goes down to the Life Orb. Actually, I forgot about Life Orb, so it never actually mattered whether or not I missed uh, that that uh, Ice Fang. But with that, that is going to be week two. Like I said, this has been the most difficult building experience that I've had in a really, really long time. Uh, a lot of my builds had come through. He made some really good plays to put me on my back foot. Um, eventually, it was just that Rabombi having that hidden power rock, being able to 1v1 that Charizard, and then put me in that fantastic position um, with all my other mons once I was able to kind of corner that executor a little bit uh but man he absolutely could have won this with his haunch crow in, in the late game and uh with how much pressure that executor was putting on in the early game we did play around it we really unfortunately gave up our uh pidgeot really really early but uh steelix came through in the end steelix and zygarde came through as long as well as that robombi and bullaby such an mvp what that bullaby was but with that, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the MPL. We're going to have MPL, UBL, PGBL, and SBN all this weekend. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. going to be once again out.